And I find, as others have as well, that a high proportion of children who have GI problems in conjunction with autism are improved once the dietary restrictions are put in place. Next question that oftentimes gets confused is what happens to the developmental delay itself? Well, I don't believe that the removal of the gluten, uh, the wheat products, or the milk is going to cure the autism. However, if the child is involved in appropriate therapy, and the child, like any other child, is feeling uncomfortable because of abdominal pain, or is having to run to go to the bathroom, or is specifically unable to uh, elaborate or enunciate exactly the nature of its problem, and you remove all of those adverse symptoms, then the child will be able to be not distracted in his work, in his studies, in his therapy, and the results have, in fact, been better. So again, I don't think one should say that removing the milk and the wheat is going to cure autism, but I do feel that the benefit that a large number of children have when they have those restrictions put in place uh, warrants a trial for that type of thing. If after three weeks, there's a, and they've been strict, three weeks if they've not been strict, doesn't count. But a three-week trial and there's no improvement, then I don't think it's going to be helpful to continue that route of, uh, of therapy.